that's where, you know, so even if they lie, just say, oh, he's the same age as me, 15, you know, so like if they're 15, it, it's just like mainly 14 and under, we have to, doesn't matter if their partner's the same age, younger, whatever, 14 and under, we have to report. 14 under, what, that includes being 14, right? Yeah, okay. 14, you know, once they get to 15, then there's a little bit more play room. So as long as they just lie and say, oh, he's 15, 16, you know, yeah. as long as they don't say 14, and as long as it's not too much of an age gap, then we just kind of like, then we just kind of play. What if they do say they're 14, can Well, you know, then from there, it, it's just really watching what they say. But what if they need an abortion, though? Oh, that's a com that's a completely different story now. Oh. Now, if they're pre now okay. this is more no, just for testing and stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Um, we need to know. They, yeah, if they yeah, come yeah. in for pregnancy testing, um, at that point it still needs to be. You never got this from me. Just to make all of our lives easier. Okay. If they're fourteen yeah. and under, yeah, just send them right there if they need an abortion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, we're honored now to have Abby Johnson. She's joining us. Uh, she was a former Planned Parenthood director in Bryan, Texas. She quit her job after she was asked to assist in an ultrasound uh, before an abortion procedure. Since her departure from Planned Parenthood, Abby has been traveling the country sharing her story and motivating others to take a stand for life. Abby, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Let me start by asking this question. Is this an isolated incident that we just saw here on the screen, or is this, uh, is this the way Planned Parenthood operates? This is a common occurrence for Planned Parenthood, unfortunately. This is something that many women are, many women are subjected to um, the cover-ups of Planned Parenthood and uh, the tweaking of information uh, that, uh, you know, they try to scrub their charts. And uh, unfortunately, this is something that is very common, even something that we experienced at my own clinic. Can you, can you tell us about that? Is there a story that you have or an experience that you have? There is. Um, in fact, I remember a, a specific woman that we thought that we were doing the right thing for. We mm -hmm. thought that we were caring for her. But she was a prostitute, and she told us that she began being a prostitute when she was a minor, although when she started seeing us for services, she was not a minor. Uh, she was a young woman, and uh, she would come in frequently for birth control visits and also for testing. And every time she came in, she had a new infection, and we would treat her for that. But uh, one day, she did come in with her pimp. And I, I remember when you first told me that, that you were doing this, uh, my mind immediately went to her. And I remember thinking, what could we have done differently for her? Could we have saved her mm -hmm. from, from that life that she was living? And we did nothing. Mm -hmm. That day, we let her walk out of our clinic with uh, you know, a, a bottle of pills to cure an infection, a new birth control method, and her pimp. And we let her walk back out into that, that life of a prostitute and, and a life of abuse. Now, since this video has been released, Planned Parenthood has uh, uh, fired that director that we just saw in this video clip, uh, claiming this was an isolated incident. But, Lila, even the video released today mm -hmm. suggests that, uh, as, Ga as Abby was saying, this is not isolated. Yeah, we have a second video out that shows a second worker, even though this was supposedly isolated according to Planned Parenthood, working with the sex traffickers, again, of the underage girls to find ways to skirt Virginia law to get them the abortion. So, I mean, Abby, what are your thoughts? I, I, have you watched the videos? I, I, well, let's take, a, let's take yeah. a look at that clip. Okay. Let's look at that clip from Virginia, and then Abby, I'd like to get your thoughts on that. Okay. Okay, the part of it, though, is um, some of the girls that are out now, like 14, 15, and some of the girls are from, like, out of state, out of country. They don't know about the facilities. They don't know how to get help. I don't even know how to do it. So, like, what are your, like, Is that illegally here, or are they um, illegally resident? Some of them don't have, like, their residency yet or something okay. like that. But, um, like, how do you guys have teen service and stuff like that? I mean, we can give them the same information. The okay. only thing that requires a legal guardian is yeah. an abortion. Okay. I mean, you can get birth control testing, like, oh, any, wow. anything without a parent. The only thing that okay. requires 
over 18 if they're a minor is an abortion. Okay. But there's also ways like judicial bypasses we can get around that. If you guys ever need it, there is a way to, to avoid that. Well, well, again, how commonplace is this? I mean, we're hearing the same language. It's very common. Uh, I, I listened to this, I watched this video earlier today, and I thought these are probably words that I may have said myself. It's words that I definitely heard other people say inside of Planned Parenthood. They will do anything. They will encourage anyone to have an abortion. They will coerce anyone into having an abortion. That's pretty strong language. <laughs> Uh, that and, and the evidence is beginning to suggest that that is in fact what what's taking place here. Can you tell us more about minors going to the clinics uh, facing abortion decisions, whether they're coming from situations of abuse or even trafficking? Um, the com the kinds of situations you've seen with maybe minors coming to the clinic and the, the, their positions of vulnerability and what that looks like when abortion is being considered and encouraged even by Planned Parenthood. Yeah, minors are frequently encouraged to have have abortions. Minors are actually. Uh, the the most vulnerable targets they are the easiest to sell on abortions uh, frequently they will come in with someone who is trying to encourage them to have an abortion and they will actually talk with the clinic worker they would talk with me and say you know can you please encourage her to have an abortion mm -hmm. can you please talk her into it and you know we are all good salespeople at Planned Parenthood and that is our job mm -hmm. and with Planned Parenthood and their quotas and you know us trying to increase the amount of abortions it's required and in fact Planned Parenthood just recently put out a statement that says every Planned Parenthood affiliate must be an abortion providing affiliate by 2013. This is going against what their stated mission is, that they want to make abortion safe, legal, and rare. The only thing that we have right now is that it is legal. Mm. Does it appear then that this willingness to cover up sexual abuse in the pursuit of an abortion, trying to get that abortion, do you think those two things are related? Absolutely. Planned Parenthood is a safe haven for people who are trying to abuse girls and even minor women. Well, Abby, that's, uh, that's some explosive stuff there that tracks right along with the, the footage that uh, live action has been able to obtain. Thanks so much for joining Thank us you. tonight. Thank we appreciate you. it so much.